made it to Nepal. So this is how it all happened. Just recently booked Right, like right now, my flight going to Nepal, my first out of the country after two years. Sobrang araga ko, alis na ako ngayon. Hindi pa ako tapos magayak. It's already 7 a.m. 2 p.m. yung flight ko, so I have a very exciting announcement. I'm gonna be an ambassador for this by Colombia, and I'm gonna be using it for my hike in Mount Everest. But please come, because I only have 15 minutes left before I leave. And yeah, I just got my package from Colombia. So let's see. What are the things I I have a cup in here. It's a great review for that. Pants. It's a super lightweight. I like this jacket. Uh, a lightweight waterproof jacket. And for. So first time I had my parents ko sa airport and I had to say goodbye to them. As usual, I'm over baggage. I've been waiting for this trip for a few months now, for a few years. Finally, I'm now heading to Nepal after non-stop of preparation. Finally, over in Singapore for one hour. After that, I immediately arrive in Kathmandu. So I book a flight from Manila going to Kathmandu. So it's via Singapore Airlines and it cost me around 30,000 pesos round trip ticket plus 15,000 for my baggage allowance. It's really worth it because it's my first time to to book outside the country and it's my first time to bring my bicycle like I've been preparing for this trip. I had a lot of trainings in Benguet so I think this is really it. I've been waiting for this trip for a few months now, for a few years, finally, I'm now heading to Nepal after non-stop of preparation. Now in Singapore, I just have one hour break transfer to Kathmandu, so it's gonna be long travel hours. It's been three years since my last travel abroad. Well, and how well planned, well researched. So yeah, I finally arrived at Kathmandu. I applied for e-visa. And Nepal has visa for Filipinos, but it's so easy. You just have to fill out online and then your time. I applied for 30 days. English time. Since I've already filled out the e-form, so I no longer have to, to apply. So there, there are different um, visas here for 30 days, 15 days, and for 90 days. So it's different prices. When arrival, it turns out I still have to fill out the form in there. I don't know why. Um, before this trip, I, I already changed dollars, peso to dollars at the bank. Yeah, English. After that, I immediately arrive at the airport. I already contacted the person who will pick me up at the airport. So I'm gonna be solo in the trip. I don't know because I'm apply naman ako online, but. Still, I'm still here. Do you need help? Do you need help? I'm solo in the strip for now. In the next part of this video, someone will join me from Cebu because this is actually their event. I just joined them. Someone took me at the airport, so I already contacted this person. So he is Arjit Gandaki. And I found this person through a person I met in Shergao. So this person, um, I was on a yoga in Shergao and he told me he already went to Annapurna circuit and I asked a lot of questions to them. This is what I like when you're traveling, you're getting connection and you're getting travel information. You're not just traveling, you're also learning and getting information from other travelers. I had the van and after that, I immediately arrived at my accommodation. So I had a package here for my Everest base camp. Uh, I had three nights accommodation and a pickup from the airport and a transfer to the airport, but I won't gonna use it. Book a hostel for four nights because I wanna settle here first, explore the city. So I arrived here in Tamil. <music> so 
So Tamil is like the tourist center of Kathmandu. This is like um, Poblacion where all the tourists are in there gathered in here. So I'm with Arjit and so, he's gonna tour me around Tamil. So where are we going? We're, good for we're our heading tour. to my office, my trekking oh, agency. Yeah. We're walking on the road in Tamil. Yeah. It's a busy place. This is a touristic place as well. Very touristic place. Very tourist place. <laughs> It's full of, full of. It's my first time to speak English. <laughs> Everyone is um, busy looking for um, clothes to wear, so there are tons. Of, oh my god, I'm English, huh? <laughs> there are tons of um, jackets here, and it's like the Visoria in the Philippines. Mm. But mostly souvenir. fake, yeah, fake, right? Not fake. Not fake. What is this? A Dixa. A Dixa. Dixa. It's like pedicab. Ang nakakatuwa na hindi ka abnormal sa daan. It's full of hikers and trekkers. Oh. These are not fake. Yeah, this for the souvenir. Souvenir. Oh, I don't like souvenirs. Oh. It's heavy. <laughs> surprising me that um, a lot of people are in here like most trekkers most adventurers because most people who goes into Nepal are the, the adventurers like glad to meet this kind of person because when I tried backpacking before in Southeast Asia here it feels like it's a different vibe so even here like when I came I was sitting with a bunch of white guys and there was this Nepalese guy across the table so he referred to them as foreigners, like you foreigners and you Indians. I'm like, wow. So like they consider them one. <laughs> yeah. So even we, we would like consider uh, Nepalese a foreigner. Like yeah, it's like mm. it's like a brother brotherly relation type with okay. the Nepalese India. Yeah. Like I have I had two free dinners and one like one free like mm. maybe two beers. Like the first night itself I was sitting, there's a Nepalese guy come like the same guy who said like foreigner and Indian. Yeah. Mm. He's like yeah. He's like no no you don't go. I'm buying you a beer. Mm. I like no no it's not necessary. He's like no no please please sit. I I'll feel like yeah. I'll feel uh, disrespected if you get up. Then yeah. It feels like it's a trekkers haven. When I went outside, it turns out that the whole. Tamil is like the Visoria Publishon. They have this massive store of selling trekking gears, but some are fake. So yeah, I toured around and I met this solo female traveler. So we, I book a female hostel dorm. So I also was able to meet solo female travelers. We're all solo female travelers. Like it's not just me. We are a lot. I'm encouraging you to do solo travel as well. We're all solo female travelers. Um, we're on our way. Where are you gonna take us? Oh, RTK. Alright, it's the name. Oh, RTK is a vegan vegetarian restaurant. She's been here for how many days? I've been here for six days. Six days. So she's gonna be our tour guide for today. <laughs> What's your name again? Saya. Saya. I'm in Zar. This is the fall at night. Oh. It's like the Visoria. And. Yeah, there are tons of tourists. Mostly, there are also locals. And oh, there's a camera shop in here. Hello. Brothers Pasmina. Pasmina in front of Mero Chitra. So, how much is this? 1,000 1,000, not 800 Not 800, not 800. <laughs> This card, so I'll be using it to pee at the mountain <laughs> My agent contact in Lukla, okay? Okay I have my agent in Lukla mm -hmm. His name is John He's checking it sick. You know how to use this? No You don't know? No uh, I, don't. I show you, okay? Yeah It's long, huh? Outside, make video. Can you? Yes. In front of a lot of drinks. In front of Everest Bank Limited. So there's a shop in here, which is like um, different to all the shops because he said it's the cheapest. Yeah, it's the best and the cheapest. They give a very good. So how much is this trekking pole? 
trekking pole is like 1200 nepali rupees 1200 nepali, nepali rupees rupee. you can get all the so uh, there are tons boots. of um, north face here yeah no so north face north jacket down jacket silicone okay so, yeah and if you you're for, if you here. forgot um some of your stuff you can actually find here in Tamil and there's a good shop here you can drop by it's the micro spike yeah. is the micro oh spy, that's a micro and they have the trekking bag, sleeping bag, everything you can good. get here. Here right now at the shop where they they usually shop for the Everest. So they, they really have to wear this guy. Right? Yeah, they have to wear this, right? Yeah. On the expedition. The climbing. For the next few days, I explored some temple, which can, you're gonna be watching in the next video. I tried a lot of Nepalese food. I'm gonna do a separate video about it. <laughs> what is this? What is this? This one, Tommy. Tommy? Yes. Yeah. Spicy. <laughs> But I don't like spicy. <laughs> you like spicy? Yes, mm. I like spicy. You are good in English. Yes. How old are you? I'm two well old. Wow. Two well years old. Wow. <laughs> I'm crying. Yeah. I'm trying their mama. I cry. <laughs> mama right now. This is like dumpling. Um, it has sauce and they said it's not spicy. So it's kinda hot, so good luck. This is tomato sauce. Tomato sauce, yes. wow. I seen Filipino girl with a bicycle traveling around the world. No, it's my first time in to Nepal. Live, to live outside my country. What in about? Nepal. Okay. So you originally from Philippines, yeah. right? Mani Pacquiao. Mani Pacquiao. Yes, of course. Pacquiao. I have a many friends from Philippines. Enduro? Right? Uh, yeah, in Duro oh. Racer. Mira Rai. So yeah. I just met Mira Rai, the champion in Nepal. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, legs. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, what about me? Um, the champion in Duro. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <Not that much. laughs> I made the champion so in Nepal. Oh my god. <laughs> you Welcome to Nepal. Yes. Thanks to all. What's your name, sir? Sham. 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 I mean, Sham is the organizer of all enduro riders. Not so it's all. It's yeah. called the Asia Enduro Asian Series. Asian Enduro, wow. Series, yes. <laughs> yeah. So you've been to a lot of Asian countries. Yeah, quite a lot. Wow. We just finished our race in March here. Wow. Round two is in Philippines. That's the oh. round. Third is in Bali and the fourth is in wow. Korea. Maybe we'll see you in one of the... See you. <laughs> I'll just be Marshall. Can? Yes. Marshall. <laughs> special guest. Yes, yeah, special guest. Just watching around. <laughs> Some tip? What, what what's your tip for Annapurna? Um, no, for riding, I mean, it depends like, go as usual, you know, like yeah. the way you ride. But my only tip is when you're in the mountain, mm -hmm. remember one thing, the law. Mm -hmm. Walk high mm -hmm. and then sleep low. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to stay at say 3,000 meters, yeah. on that day, you climb a little bit, go higher up, mm -hmm. so that you can acclimatize, mm -hmm. come down and sleep for the night. Mm -hmm. That will get you what it mm -hmm. wants. So you, you climb up, then go down after? Yes. Yeah. yes. Like say for example, your mm -hmm. night for the day is 2,500 mm -hmm. meters. So you go to 2,500 meters, you ride, park your bikes, mm -hmm. then you walk, hike up. Higher walk than without, without bike? Without the bike, just to acclimatize. Oh. So you go to say about 2,000 oh. meters. Uh, maybe that's why we're gonna go to Mana. Right? Yeah. yeah, we have, so because we have one day. It's my first time to travel outside the country after four years. My last travel was in Taiwan 2019. Oh my gosh, I really like having new culture, not knowing what to do, observing, being curious. That's one thing that I enjoy the most here. I think that's it for now. Yeah, in the next few episodes of this video, I'm gonna start 
hiking to Mount Everest Base Camp and I'm so excited for my adventure. See you in the next one. Bye! Oh my god, it's getting dark now.